I'm doing whatever now Ain't got no time to fight I'm talking way too loud And if you don't like the sound You could just tune it out Who you rooting for? They say whatever team Welcome back to yet another vlog guys if you're a first time viewer i'm mj and it's nice to meet you so guys my husband came to visit me at work this year is my workplace restaurant yeah and you know i got him some work food but he did not like it <laughs> So I promised him that when we get home, I'll make him a delicious dinner. On our way home, we branched British Heart Foundation, which is a charity organization. They sell furniture and they use it in funding art surgeries, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't, don't be deceived by the fact that it's a charity foundation. The things are still quite expensive and that's because they get donations from top brands. Okay, so you get it for cheaper actually in the real sense. However, we couldn't find something that we like, so we left there and then we went to b&m b&m is also a store that is budget friendly if you want f to set up your house you know you want some nice furniture to match your aesthetic b&m is the place to go so we just wanted to see what they had here and we just wanted to just you know look around so that i'll know what i want to order on amazon and i'll know the things that i can actually get in stores nearby and have an idea of and compare the price yeah so we're just looking around at b and him we need something like this in the bathroom that's on the top this is under but that's for that thing to put all that things now the ones that i told you that are supposed to be on the trolley yeah so being him not only have the mini house furniture they also have tools for your diy and they've got paint section there's actually a lot of things that you can get from bnm once we left bnm obi was hungry so we there's a store around called morrison so we stopped by at morrison just to get something to eat because obi was hungry because he couldn't hate what i offered him at work <laughs> Fun fact guys, when I just moved into the United Kingdom, that was in 2019, Morrison was the first mall that I visited. That was where I got my first, you know, my mobile SIM card, you know, that was where I got my first food <laughs> because it was just beside the hotel that my employer lodged me out for about two or three weeks before my accommodation was was sorted and at morrison they have varieties of brands at reasonable prices and their vegetables are yummy babe should we get pizza Yeah, we can get pizza or sandwich. When it comes to Imbu food, my husband is very, very selective. He does not like Imbu food at all. Is when I tell him something is yummy, it's like your taste bud is gone. <laughs> I pray my own taste bud never I mean never matches theirs. And I'm like, okay, no worry, I'll remind you. Anyway, it's quite selective with Imbu food and so it took us a while before. We could figure something out at this mall. And oh, I love chicken. So somehow I've been able to make my obi like chicken as well. So at least we got chicken before leaving Morrison. By the time we left Morrison, it was already getting dark. We went to the town center to pick up a few things and we found this Ghanaian store. We were stunned by the things we found there and the fact that they were playing some Nigerian music. So at this mall, we just picked up a few food and snack so that we can snack on it on our way home. I was also feeling like eating shawarma. Hey, that's why I carried my husband to this place. They say it's shawarma, but the thing that they are shining is not ma. And I think it's quite disrespectful to be calling whatever they sell at this place shawarma. Anyway, let us see the making of their 
my shower oh i don't because i disagree that it is shawarma anyway guys that's from a nigerian's point of view because the crowd there indicates the that they are doing well so because of all the waka waka i just had this shot that they know ma as dinner and obi had the snack that we got from the other ghanaian store for dinner and this is probably not peculiar to just me but guys i have a very terrible habit of ordering things on amazon and leaving them for weeks before actually unboxing them <laughs> When Hobby was coming from Nigeria last year, my mother-in-law and sister-in-laws, they packed a lot of food stuff for him. Oh my God. No wonder his Ghana must go was heavy. He, had, he came with two heavy Ghana must go filled with food. Dry fish, dry this, dry that. I have no idea how much and the worth of the content until we started to, you know, store this food stuff in the storage container. If if I begin to say the word, it should be over 300,000. I mean, imagine how things, how expensive things are now in Nigeria and for them to pack all of this for us. See, in the next how many months, we're probably not going to ex exhaust majority of the things that are here. Ugo is UGU. It's a bitter leaf. No, 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 sir. It's a leaf. Uh, uh, this is like... Uh, 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 Jesus, this one is eating raw crepes. Hey, this, hey now. Now nah, I came from the river. See, so you put this on inside a small place. Take it. What is this? Is it the upper? Hey, you know the seaweed. Yeah, it's hurting me your life. Mm. Very good. Yeah, you don't sell that one. This one is called, you know what it's called? Abata. It's the thickener for soup. Mm -hmm. They use it to thicken a goosey soup. Oh, so I need this now. Yeah. This is scent leaf. This is a bono. Yeah, See this is yeah. yaji, the yaji pepper. What does yaji pepper mean? Yaji, now that's in the day. It's pepper, that's in the day. put it inside. I don't know how to explain it. It's, they put it in suya, you know. Oh, suya pepper. Mm. Mm. That be yaji. Now. So what am I supposed to do with this dried okra something? Cook food now. What? Cook soup now. You will they cook. Not that your white okra, regular normal okra now. If you cook that your white okra, you eat it. Mm. 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 See the power. But that you know, you go enter, sir. My mom is coming. She'll bring more for us. So we always have more, 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 more. And your mom too is coming. Same thing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Good. My mom is coming. She So today I'm gonna make yam porridge for my husband. It's his first time having homemade yam porridge. I diced the yam, all washed clean, and now I'm boiling it. I'm using mackerel fish because I love to have yam porridge with mackerel fish. This is the pepper that I also use for cooking the yam porridge. Yam porridge is literally mashed yam. Yeah, think about it like jollof yam. <laughs> But it tastes absolutely yummy, and Obi couldn't wait to see the finished product. You can see the weather is looking beautiful outside, and it's almost spring. <laughs> so, this is a piece of spice or hard leaf, dried okra, iru, scent leaf. Uh, oh, this is my chinchi. This is ugu leaf, 
you are not too tough. You can leave. Yeah, all the spices and all that. There's plenty of jerry. Ground nuts for the ground nut soup. Seasoning, salt, dried fish. That's banla. Blended crayfish, black eye beans, what's that one? Stockfish, um, dried fish, yeah. Snail, see this? Snail is roasted and dried. It's like, I can see it clearly here. I understand. Dry. Um, another thing that we have not shown a goosey, spaghetti, peeled beans. Crayfish, not blended. This is a useless spaghetti. And I'm going to add the Latin. Spaghetti is the, especially that macaroni that spaghetti dates are the worst things ever made. I don't know why they, they give it fancy name pasta, making it look like it as if it's red pepper, garlic, hot curry. Which what's the difference between curry and hot curry? See. Curry is spicy. Ah, oh, but it has the same this thing as the macaroni. Mixed spices, thyme, red pepper, black pepper, voila. Jollof spice, rosemary, chidema, amaka. Turmeric. Turmeric. Oh, maybe. They arrange these ones. This one has been here before. Has been serving. Very loyal. But because it's not in a fancy bottle, they asked me to put it to the back. Guys, just now they used to tell us that you don't have to see the kitty and be unique. But being unique doesn't mean you are better than everyone else. <laughs> see that they went, went and hid this one. Sorry, my left. We got some really large onions from a from an, an African Caribbean um, store, and Obi was just putting them away, and also trying to gist me about his past experience at how the whoever Obi was talking about. And then we did a quick check on our yam that was still cooking. Obi was concerned about it dripping on the cooker. I was like, oh, I don't record this. Like, oh, record it, Jerry. Are we not cooking? I said that was yellow and fresh yesterday. So finally, let's go back to our cooking. So this is a pepper mix that I made. That's tomato, one bell pepper, and scotch bonnet with big onion. And the pepper mix is all blended and ready. I'm now turning on the gas so I can fry my mackerel fish. I'm not a fan of air fryer. I love to retain that, that moisture in whatever I'm frying. So now I'm frying this fish with vegetable oil. Fish and yam porridge is the best combo. Trust me. And finally, I added about four serving spoon of palm oil to the already soft yam so that the palm oil can go well into the jam i bought this um, palm oil in a keg but because of the weather it all got frozen and it was difficult to bring it out so i decided to transfer it into a flat container so guys that's a good way of actually storing your palm oil especially in winter so now we're just gonna allow the yam um to boil up with the palm oil so the palm oil can go well into the yam and get really softer and it tastes nicer that way i'm gonna let that go on for about say 15 to 30 minutes and now i'm just adding one teaspoon of salt to the whole mix This seasoning was sent to me by my mother-in-law and hey, it is rock hard and so difficult to break. I'm adding a bit of um, crayfish, blended crayfish into this um, yam porridge. Crayfish just gives it that additional flavor and additional sweetness. I also ordered this um, pika or whatever it's called from Amazon. It's two in one and Obi helped me in unboxing it. 
and he was just trying to figure it out but no command cannot can <laughs> It means there's a hole here that needs to go inside. Yeah. It's on this this one. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't they just put it? Yeah. Now, so, 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 so make it easier one. to pack now. Ah. I think don't use the So Obi figured it out and I used that to turn the fish to the other side. So the other side can also fry and then i added a little bit of bitter leaf and ugu leaf to the yam porridge trust me it just gives it that extra scent and flavor and color and you will absolutely love it so next i'm adding the pepper mix to the porridge so that everything can simmer in at the same time it cooks in and you know it's an essential part of the whole process and then i'm just turning it in so that everything can get mixed all up together and then allow it to cook for about 30 more minutes Our fish, our macro fish is now all evenly fried and ready to go. So I just took everything out of the oil and allowed them to cool off. A porridge, look at how yummy it looks. Oh my God. Oh my God. After letting it simmer for a while, I'm finally saving it. Look at how beautiful and how colorful it looks. It's tastes even better than it looks guys trust me and obi absolutely loved it and here are some of the other things that my mother-in-law sent me a lot of stock fishes gari yam flour seasoning dried meat and a whole whole lot of other things anyway thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope that you enjoyed it feel free to share your own yam porridge recipe in the comment section i'll see you guys in our next vlog bye